Thank you. And thank you everybody for uh, coming out and putting on this forum for us and giving everybody an opportunity to uh, be seen and heard. Um, and again, thank you for attending. This is a huge crowd and, uh, in the past. We haven't always had this many people. Sometimes uh, there's more of us up here than there, is, there are in the crowd. So uh, again, thank you very much. My name is Kevin Broderick. I'm a current city councilor serving my third term. And uh, I'm asking that you uh, please give me one of your nine votes on election day. Um, Tonight's subject, like the public safety uh, issue, is very important. Uh, these are, I guess, subjects that are true to the neighborhoods in terms of the open space, the uh, code enforcement, and maintaining the properties, things that directly impact our quality of life in our neighborhoods um, and, and, and on our streets. Um, we, you know, as far as the infrastructure goes, we have many projects going. We have two minutes to talk, so I won't be able to get into a whole lot of it. Um, we've done some things uh, recently with a uh, performance uh, contract to, for the energy efficiency, which will get us about $21 million in improvements paid for through savings. So um, we, we're trying to be more creative uh, and uh, get things done without raising taxes any more than we have. Um, we have to continue to do that. And if the Manager's Neighborhood Initiative is in its third year, started over here in Senegal, Lower Highlands, and now is in the back central. Um, and they're working with the neighborhood group over there to finalize plans. Uh, this is done with the uh, community development block grant money, which as we all know is becoming less and less available. 30 seconds, all right. Um, and, and code enforcement is a difficult issue. We've made some changes and some consolidations. Uh, we have more inspectors on the street and we're, we're changing the culture of the way the inspections are done so that everybody is cross-trained and, and you know, helping and uh, assisting each other. Uh, looking for violations. Again, my name is Kevin Broderick. Uh, thank you for having us this evening, and I'm number one in the ballot. Thank, thank you. you. Again, thank you all for coming out and, uh, and listening to us, giving us the opportunity to express our views and our opinions. And, um, you know, this is an interesting issue. Issues. It's a huge topic. Both of these could be taken separately uh, for a number of hours. But I think um, what I'd like to impress on people or, or let people know is that we do have a capital plan now, five-year plan we review and approve. Uh, it's set within our budget so that we can try and um, have a, a steady stream of cap uh, capital improvements and debt service that we, can, uh, that we cover to help solve the problem of uh, our infrastructure uh, that's, that's uh, accumulated over the years. Um, receivership program we have now for code enforcement. Take these buildings, get them fixed. Don't wait and take them and then sell them as vacant lots. Get them back on the tax rolls and do it with other people's money so the city's not putting their own money out there. Um, so those are some of the things that, we're, that we've done and we're doing. Uh, again, my name is Kevin Broderick. I'm one of your ballot. I appreciate one of your nine votes. Thank you. Yeah.